Friends, how is everybody today? Oh, things are going just in all directions here in Casterville. Um, so much stuff on the go, uh, every direction, just 110 miles an hour. Um, but uh, hey, I wanted to stop in and just uh, kind of, uh, just kind of give everybody a snapshot of, of where things are. Um, it's been, the last six months have just been off the hook. Um, I, first of all, I thought I was gonna be settling in with this uh, router duplicator. And then uh, the opportunity to buy this duplicator came up, which I couldn't pass up. And so, Everything came to a screeching halt with that. And the focus was on uh, making, just making some handles uh, for some people. And then uh, acquiring this lathe, which that deal, I mean, that deal, uh, I started talking with Dan, the guy that owned it, oh gosh, at least th two, three months ago, something like that. Uh, and it was just back and forth on the phone. Uh, and then, looking at it and of course you've seen all the videos so i don't need to go into that but uh getting it from there to here has just been a monumental thing and so now begins the task of getting it cleaned up in conjunction with all of my people i have lined up to help me get it rolling are out deer hunting which i'll be back from hunting can mean anywhere from a week to another month. So uh, I'm just gonna have to do what I can till now. I don't think this is gonna be up and running, you know, uh, in a couple of weeks. I don't think it's a scenario like that. Um, here, now that we're in the shop light, here is what we're dealing with. Just gross, absolutely freaking gross. Uh, I don't think much care was taken. Although I have to say, uh, <coughs> some friends of mine that have machines similar to this said it's in good shape. So I'm trusting them. And I, I really think it is for how old it is. I'll let, we can come to the other side here, but there's, uh, there's electrical issues uh there's i think this hydraulic fluid container isn't going to be a huge deal but it's got a busted gauge and hose is looking pretty good shape but you can really see <coughs> i mean holy smoke and joe jumping whatever you want to say um i did locate a foundry that uh, can make me solid aluminum masters, which is awesome. So things are coming together, but this is gonna be a giant freaking uh, endeavor. Um, gonna be working as hard and as fast as I can given the set of circumstances. What you can see is what I've been doing so far. Now, if you look at this side of it, not so bad, hey? And these, uh, these hydraulic rams, um, I'm bringing them back. That's what they look like. And now this is this one I actually polished. So I think they're gonna look okay. They have a little bit of pitting. It doesn't bother me so much, but there's just so many components to this. It's absolutely nuts. But all in all, I think she's gonna clean up pretty well. Um, all of this looks like this. Um, we're slowly digging out. And, and you know, it's a good way to learn the machine. What's gonna happen to the router duplicator, you might ask? Well, uh, it's actually gonna be able to be utilized and in a, in a better way than trying to make production handles with it. Um, what this is going to make is going to be the master copies 
um, for to that will get sent off to the uh, foundry. Um, I can, uh, you know, take it and each copy that you produce creates a better copy and, and so on and so forth. So then I'll take the, uh, the best um, and send that off to the foundry to make the, uh, uh, the map. He gave me the, uh, the shoe tree um, masters and I'll show you what the shoe trees look like. Um, but this is what, uh, here it is. It has a bunch of sawdust on it, but this is what your ax, the ax handle on this is going to look like. Um, uh, but th th obviously there's a lot of cleanup. I mean, look at the stuff that's coming off of this puppy. Um, so just a lot of elbow grease and a lot of care. Um, it would be nice to have some sort of manual, but there's no manual. I'm going to have to learn this machine from the ground up. In the meantime, we're cleaning on the machine. Presently, we're making handles just the way we started out making handles, uh, laying them out and um, roughing them on the sander, like you saw in the last video, um, and just getting handles in people's hands. Uh, the router duplicator is going to be taking, uh, we're going to be gearing that right now towards uh, making the master copies. Um, so I've got to simultaneously be looking at getting the, this big lathe running and having, you know, I can't make shoe trees. <laughs> so I have got to, I've got to get my masters going. So that router, uh, duplicator is really going to come in handy because it's not just sitting on a sander and everything's by eye. I have straight axes that I can really fine tune these, um, handles with and, and make them as symmetrical as, as I can. Uh, so hindsight, the, uh, router duplicator was a good purchase. Would it, uh, would it help in ax production? Absolutely. It would, would it be the most optimal thing to have? Uh, no, but then again, at the time that I bought that, uh, there was nothing out there there. You, you can't just go on eBay and buy one of these. Uh, even the, uh, industrial auctions and websites, these things sell as fast as they come up. So luck of the ax gods, it's all you can say. This was getting this machine was just total happenstance and luck. Um, and so I'm very, very grateful. Uh, would I still be producing ax handles? You betcha. <laughs> you betcha. <laughs> I almost said ass, but uh, it, it's just a, it's just a developing a developing story. I would 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 I have liked to uh, gotten this uh, big lathe next year, this coming year? Absolutely, because it's just compressed my to-do list into a thousand things onto one page. Uh, so it's, it's, it's a little, it's very challenging. Um, but, uh, handles coming. Um, that's all I can say. Um, it's, it's, it's going down. It's really exciting. Uh, there's been, a, I've had to be really patient. I've had to move in different directions and be flexible. Uh, when things that I had planned didn't work out. Uh, there was a huge wood issue at the beginning of this year that um, caused me to miss some opportunities. And um, that's, that's a real bummer. But it also uh, pushed me in a direction to where uh, I'm now sourcing my own hickory and I'm sitting on quite a lump of hickory right now. So everything happens for a reason. Oh, she's dirty.